Hi and welcome again to the channel Newtown Naughty Boy and this is a part two for the uh, Air Crony um, that I've bought a couple of weeks ago. Um, I previously did an unboxing video for you and showed you some of the features of the chronograph and today I intend to do some shots through it and also show you some aspects of the software that you can use um, on your laptop. So just to give you um, a, a reminder and also to show you the layout that I've got here, um, here is the Air Crony here sitting on its box. Behind it I've got my backstop uh, which is quite sufficient to stop anything um, from proceeding any, anywhere else within my garage. Um, I've got a laptop here that's connected via the USB cable into the Air Crony in the side here and I have my software installed on the laptop and we'll take a look at the software um, before we do any shots. Um, I just want to run through a few things with you. Um, there is a, a danger that I might miss some aspects of this and therefore I may have to do a part three to to sort of uh, clarify some bits and pieces um, but I'll endeavor to show you both the software and how to use or shoot through the chronograph okay so uh, first of all I just want to talk to you about the software um, that can be downloaded onto your PC or laptop now the device that you order, the hardware, the chronograph itself, doesn't actually come with any software. Um, at least it didn't with mine. So you have to download this from the internet. And I just typed into Google um, uh, Air Crony Mark III software and I found where I needed to pick uh, the download from. So I down, I've downloaded it from the internet and how that arrives is uh, it arrives as a RAR file, an RA, a .RAR file. Now that's um, a compressed format and you need to therefore, if you haven't got it already, download onto your PC something called WinZip which will unzip that file into a few files so I've just clicked on the properties of the downloaded software and the version that I'm using and you should use as well um, if if at all possible and it's uh, Air Crony 2.0.3.292 um, I tried an earlier version to this and for some reason I downloaded an earlier version and that for some reason didn't work on this particular laptop but this version seems to be okay so if I double click on the icon um, I then find that what I have to do is connect now assuming that you've got your uh, chronograph connected to the laptop via its USB connection um, you click on connect there are some settings that came up, come up here and on the port you select the port now for me it's COM5 if I try this upstairs on my <coughs> Windows 10 machine it's COM3 it may be different for you but it's COM5 and I press OK and there's an error there now what I found is that sometimes you need to uh, switch the device off, the actual chronograph off and um, switch it back on again and we'll try that again after the chronograph started up sometimes you get an error and let's see if we can connect this time oh unable to so I'm going to close the software down as you can see it's a little bit um, Flaky. It may be that I've got too many versions of the software open on here. 
let's see if I can um, there's two down here I think that are open so let's now open a fresh one on the screen and see if I can connect this time so I'm going to select no selection here of port now I'm running out of options here com5 and it's connected this time you can see it's a little bit flaky on connection now just as an aside if you press on um, the connection here uh, and you find that you cannot select com anything com3 com4 com5 the the actual uh, USB port then there are some drivers that you may need to download and they come with that in that RAR file um, so just going back to um, the download there's a there's a file or a, an executable file that you can run called driver underscore setup underscore for underscore air crony and that will download the proper drivers for connecting your hardware to this application so just to simply um, demonstrate how all of this works I'll make that um, if I go to setup you need to always seem to go to setup initially to change uh, either your pl uh, pellet weight here on the software and also to change to Imperial if you come out of this uh, application go back in it's it's set back to metric uh, which is a little bit uh, annoying so we've done that and then what I do uh, initially is to click the live button and we get a, uh, an ex a different screen up with our feet per second um, and some other measurements down here this will be the grain of pellet and this FPE measurement here and up in the top right hand corner will be the number of shots that we've taken so with this displayed let's shoot some shots through the chronograph okay so let's take the first shot and it's recorded it as 749 feet per second and there's a one up in the right hand corner to show that that's the first shot so let's take a second shot and we can clearly see 752 this time 0.91 feet per second now if I get rid of this um, this screen here right down the bottom is a some sort of icon um, which if I click close we go to a different screen and you'll notice up in the top uh, in the top left hand corner here are the two shots that we've um, shot through the chronograph and it's beginning to record a graph so let's, whilst that's displayed, let's shoot a third shot through the chronograph. And that's recorded. Fourth shot. fifth shot sixth shot okay so I've now fired six shots through the chronograph
let's have a look at the data. So I've closed in a little bit for you so you can see this. So it's, it's drawn this graph already um, of six points and up in this table here, up at the top here, um, let's just swing up there so you can see that. Over this side here, we've got our values 749, 752, 748, 755, 749, 752. Not much of a variation, although if you looked at this graph, you might think, oh, the shots are going up and down like anything. But actually, there's, there's not much difference between the top and the bottom there. There's only about three feet per second across here. Now, once you've got this data on the screen, you can then save the data, click here to save the data, and you can select a file or type another file in. I've got Fred here, so it's a, a .csv file, so let's save fred.csv, and if we then um, go to our Fred file, let's, I may have to kind of zoom out a little bit for you to see this, Excel will pick up a CSV file so you can then directly read in um, your, your data that you've captured and here we have it, it's just loading in, we have our six, let's zoom in a little bit more and I will attempt to focus for you. So we have our six readings, uh, six readings down here. So then we can either store those away or do whatever we want with them. There is um, an energy um, column here, which is uh, this FPE. I'm not too sure what that's about. They're very high numbers. The pellet weight is in there, 8.44 grain. Um, but I'm not sure what this energy um, column is that really would need for the UK to be um, foot pounds so with this data here you could actually write some sort of formula to calculate that for you if you wanted so just to show you what's on the chronograph itself as I've taken those shots the read the same readings have come up as you can see at the top it says ready 006 so that's showing you that six shots have gone through um, the E equals N uh, is is 10.50 and that's more like um, our foot poundage and the velocity is 752 that's the last uh, feet per second velocity that was recorded so that for a start is how the air crony works so i think that that's all i was going to show you today um i am mindful though that um there are these buttons here that we haven't gone through there are various options that you can do with these to set the chronograph up to start with and maybe a third video would help with that um the other thing is that the device does save the data. It does seem to save the data until you switch off and on again. Um, whilst it's switched on, it stores the values, as I say, and there is a way of um, telling the chronograph to actually send the data from this device to your, la to your laptop. But as you've seen through the demonstration that I've just done, if you set the application to live, then you're recording the information through to your laptop anyway, each shot, um, which is great. And then you can, as I've just demonstrated, save that data um, to a file where you can pick it up as a spreadsheet and then you can do whatever you want with the data. So that's basically how the air crony works um, 
I'd like to know your views on this and um, I'd like to know if you think I've missed anything out and if you want me to explain anything further um, I'm quite happy to do that but for now that's it with this part two um, and as I always say please if you if you found this useful please press like and if you wish to subscribe please press the subscribe button and I will see you shortly on the next video so thank you very much for watching bye for now